We are going away from the model where companies had that you have a fixed uh, infrastructure, a fixed image on which everyone operates. Today, we will have cust customers wanting to, employees wanting to bring in their own devices, multiplicity of uh, images, multiplicity of operating systems. Two challenges that present, how do we enable the customer to access data and applications using their different devices? And second, when they're coming through the public network, how do we make sure that we provide security? So that means uh, you, know, you need to create infrastructure that is agile. You need to have uh, several servers, applications moving from one part to the other, uh, depending on the workload. The fourth challenge actually is the quantity of data. Every application and the large amount of data that is being generated in every company is creating a huge challenge of storage. And then the lastly, the fifth one it would be that, okay, now that I've stored all this information, which I think is going to be useful, how do I use it? So analytics comes in to decide what, how, to, how to mine this information so that I convert it to intelligence that helps my business to run better. Increasingly, you'll see that uh, Singapore is becoming the hub for corporations in the IT environment who are uh, setting up shop or are moving their employees here. The second thing that you notice here is the venture capital scene is uh, increasing at a very rapid rate. So there are there is uh, improvement in funding that uh, startups are getting access to. The third thing is the university environment. Uh, the investment that the government has made in setting up universities and uh, having uh, high caliber uh, teaching indicates that in future we will see a, a rapid growth in the number of students emerging from the system who are familiar with the new technology trends and are able to contribute to the environment. Lastly, I noticed that the government itself has been at the pioneer in adopting new technology in all the environment, all the things that it is doing and how it interacts with its citizens and uh, you know its own operations. So overall, I see Singapore making rapid progress to a leadership position in IT environment in Asia Pacific and Japan.